Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you guys saw from the intro the other day, I asked you guys which squishy out of the three would look best in a painting, and a lot of you guys liked this one. I think I should try that again. That was such a fail. Anyways, I had a feeling that you guys would pick this the most and I was totally right. So basically the rundown of this video is to make a painting of the squishy that you guys have chosen me to do. I know it's a little odd from what I usually do on my YouTube channel, but I'm not going to be painting or defecting the squishy in any type of way. I'm going to be painting a painting of the squishy on a canvas. Anyways, now that I got all of that confusing stuff out of the way, we could just get started. Oh, and by we, I kind of meant me because because I'm just literally explaining to you guys how I painted the painting, yeah. So first I began with the background and I used this fancy spatula from the dollar store to mix up the same color blue I had earlier. So I literally mixed all of that for nothing. I then realized I mixed way too much paint like I usually do, so I decided to paint the whole entire canvas with that one color in which you cannot see me do because I realized my hand was in the way most of the video. Please bear with me, this is my first painting video. <laughs> I'm obviously not going to waste this extra paint from countless other times that I've used way too many paint for no reason. So I stored it in a little container in case I need to use it again. Moving on, I used white to paint the clouds and then I used a bit of gray to shade the clouds. And I think I lost the footage of me first painting the white clouds, so I apologize for that. But at least I have these few clips of me shading the clouds, or at least what you can see. In case you're wondering why the angle changed, it's because my sister realized how horrible I was filming this, so she helped me a little bit. The next plan was to paint the sheep here, and then I realized how boring painting was, so I whipped out my laptop and watched a YouTube video while making a YouTube video. And oh my gosh, this pink color was so frustrating, I cannot get that exact pink color to save my life. I added tons and tons of paint, and to the point where the container literally almost overflowed, but I was like, you know what, I'ma just keep this color that I have and just go with the flow, I don't, I don't really care anymore. Yeah, and I made a lot of paint for nothing. <laughs> I, I hate myself. So at first I was a bit hesitant to commit and straight up paint on the canvas, but I was like, whatever, I'm gonna just finesse and I literally did it. I mean, I was really happy with the results. So I guess you can call me a professional painter. I'm just kidding, I'm not. Next, I proceeded with painting the face and the feet with this flesh color, and I'm just technically painting a 2D version of the squishy, so nothing spectacular about it. I've seen some of you guys ask me make a speed painting video, so here it is, and I also love watching painting videos, so if you guys want more videos like this, let me know down in the comments and I could probably make like a series or something of me painting a painting of a squishy. Before painting on the arms, I painted the strawberry first, just so that the arms can lay over the strawberry, if you get what I mean. I'm just, I'm just copying the squishy. I don't know why I need to explain this. So the strawberry on the squishy seemed to have an ombre look, so I used this hot pink color that is really identical to the color on the squishy, and I painted that over, and I found best that blending it with my middle finger does the work. I don't know why, but it's just that finger that I found worked the best, so I learned it the hard way. Then halfway through painting the squishy, I found myself really hungry, so I grabbed myself some seaweed, and you're probably asking me why five leaves don't do any justice, but... I don't know, I just grabbed the nearest food item that I had, so yeah, there we go. We love a nice crunch. 
I went off camera and painted on the face because that's usually the hardest part that I can never do on camera. So then I continued with painting the face by adding the blush and the tears. I don't know why it has a crying expression, but I just copied exactly what it looked like. And I don't know if this bothers you, but it totally did for me. Why is it crying out yellow instead of blue? I just don't get it. So I went with my realistic instincts and painted it blue on the painting instead. I'm not entirely done yet because the finishing touches is to add more to the background because it looked really bland to me. So for the background, I literally just painted falling strawberries, the same exact one that the sheep is holding in its hands. I really thought I was done with the entire painting until I found the sheep just floating in midair and I was like, are you kidding me? I'm not done yet. So I made it sit on top of a giant strawberry because you can never have enough strawberries, am I right? Then more blending with my middle finger goes into action for the rest of the strawberries on the painting. And we are finally not done because um, I don't know why but my perfectionist self found the sheep really flat so I made the sheep fur a little bit more 3D or 3 dimensional by adding some shading or texture to it. Okay, I guess um, I'm done now. That is basically the end of this painting video. I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did. Drop a like down below if you guys want me to do more painting videos like these because they're really, really fun to do. And also follow me on Instagram to be a part of videos like this one. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to be a part of this, I don't know, crafting community, I guess I would say. Um, I'm getting really cringy. Um, anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.